Hello guys, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and um, tonight I'm going to go ahead and talk about how to clean up a computer with something called Combo Fix. Now, I have a computer here that's highly infected and looks like a lot of the computers I visit every day. Um, it has a fake antivirus on the computer that doesn't allow you to execute anything except the fake antivirus. So if I try to open up my computer and try to go to my C drive and let's say I wanted to open up uh, a program. Let's try Movie Maker. It says security warning application cannot be executed uh, the file Movie Maker is infected. Well, it's not infected actually. It's not infected at all. What they want me to do is buy a fake antivirus software um, so that I can give them my identity and uh, they, they or someone, <laughs> they or something on here terminates their purchasing page. Freaking morons. Anyway. So a lot of times if I am fairly comfortable that I can remove a lot of malware or remove the, I would say 80% of the malware with combo fix, I'll go ahead and run it because it's extremely easy to use. Now if I try to run combo fix uh, right now, it would say I could not because this fake anti-malware system, anti-virus system pro is preventing anything from running. So what I would have to do is reboot in safe mode. If I can reboot in safe mode and I can run combo fix, I'll go ahead and do it. If I can't, I'll go ahead and break out my bootable uh, anti-malware disk and game over after that. So, go ahead and reset. And as my computer's booting, I'll go ahead and hit the F8 key a couple times. That's F8 and move into safe mode not safe mode with networking I don't want any I don't want any uh, Trojans to download while I'm cleaning them uh, I don't want them to download additional components I want safe mode without networking so that I just have uh, basically a clean PC oh, not a clean PC a clean startup uh, that does not involve those rogues and allows me to run combo fix. So if you're gonna ask me what does combo fix do exactly? I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest with you. I've never looked it up. I just know that it works. Cleans off a whole lot of stuff. I I know it's highly irresponsible of me not to know what it not to know what exactly it does, but <laughs> it just works. Uh, the only time I've had trouble with it is when it's named Combo Fix. So when I go to a client's house, I'll go ahead and just rename it to whatever. Something random. That way it can execute. It has a higher chance of executing properly. And if you right click and hit open, it starts to load Combo Fix. So when you see this screen, you know you're in good shape. And I've never really talked about combo fix, and I should have. I should have been, um, I should have been honest. But um, yeah, when I when I can run combo fix and get out of an appointment quickly, it's a good day. If I can't run combo fix and I need to resort to my CD or DVD, eh, it's a longer day. So um, basically, they tell you where you can download combo fix from these are legitimate download sites this is important to know as there are a lot of fake versions of combo fix um, they want to tell you that combo fix.org and combo fix download are not associated with this combo fix application the I'm guessing these guys are trying to sell you something of some sort otherwise they wouldn't make the website Combo fix backs up our registry and attempts to create a restore point. 
Now it asked me, do you want to go ahead and install the Microsoft uh, Windows Recovery Console? That might be good for uh, a basic, um, well, an above average user to do, but I don't need to do that, so I'm going to say no. Now it says, scanning for infected files. This typically doesn't take more than 10 minutes. It's about right. Usually it takes about 10, 10 minutes for it to scan and another 10 minutes for it to, re uh, for it to uh, prepare a report. I have no idea why the report takes so long, but it does. Now, it also says completed stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4. That goes all around, goes all the way uh, to around, uh, I'd say 50 something. 55, maybe 50, I can't remember. It changes. At the end of this uh, scanning business here, it will go ahead and prepare us a report of things that it found and deleted. And Combo Fix also uh, quarantines items to a directory on your C drive called QBox. I think it's Q O O O. I could be saying that wrong. Let me see. It's not on there yet. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and let that scan until about 50 or so, and I'll, I'll try to show you the report. I will show you the report, but um, I'll try to catch it in action, so hang on. Now at this point, Combo Fix is deleting a lot of infected files. You can see them all kind of just page up. It's an amazing application, just an amazing free application. Combo fix. You gotta wonder who actually built this thing. I, I really do sometimes. I'm just too lazy to actually go look. I'll tell you the truth. I have so many things going on, I just don't care. I just know that it cleans off computers and saves me time and money. So, let's go ahead and reboot Windows now. Warning, do not reboot mainly. Let's go ahead and reboot it for you. Now, I have to give you a warning. Um, Combo Fix is sensitive to uh, a lot of antivirus applications. So, if you're going to run Combo Fix on a system that's been infected, you need to disable the antivirus or remove it if you don't know how. It's a big, big thing. Someone just told me I'm boring when um, there's nothing going on on my screen. You know what? I have to agree. They say I should pot. I should uh, pause more, but um, I don't think I'm gonna pause. I'm just gonna go ahead and talk through this reboot and it's so boring <laughs> now nah, I'm having fun I'm having fun watching this thing reboot here It's not terribly exciting, but you know, you can get the idea of how fast a PC boots with um, malware on it or combo fix cleaning it. That kind of stuff. So, um, I should also mention that combo fix does not stay on your computer and, um, what was that? Okay, IRC is on my computer. That's so funny. Leave me alone. I did not put that on there. Um, Combo Fix does not uh, protect you from 
from future infections. It only removes stuff. Doesn't remove everything, as you can tell. The stupid PC's anti spyware 2010 is still on my computer. So, it, it gets rid of a lot of hardcore stuff, like a lot of hardcore rootkits, a lot of hardcore um, Trojans and agents, uh, and, you know, adware. It does it does a lot of the hardcore stuff, so you can get in later um, and bring in your friends like Super Anti Spyware and Malware Bytes, and just beat the crap out of the uh, fake anti malware programs on the computer and any kind of uh rogues that are here. So so malware bites is the big old hammer and then you bring out your broom and start cleaning up. That's the best way I can describe it. But um I should also mention that you can do all of this too uh with a bootable anti malware disk like uh ultimate boot CD for win you know you go ahead and customize that and you have a really really powerful tool uh, much more powerful than combo fix but combo fix is just a, a quick quick way to clean up the PC so right now I've got the that fake antivirus down there um, you see combo fix left me left me a log of what it deleted whole lot of malware right there but now we're stuck with that stupid PC anti spyware that we can't get rid of unless we break out. Let's go ahead and pause that. We don't want that site to load. I don't know what that is. Let's go with google.com. And we search for malware bytes. Let's try to get that if we can. Looks good so far. Download. Download now. Get in there, come on. Yes. So we get malware bytes on here. And we know that if it installs and it updates, that rogue is host. Alright, get my update. Gonna go ahead and scan. Alright. Load up malware bytes. I know I'm in good shape if it loads. Alright, the latest database. I'm going to go ahead and do a full scan of the C drive and I'll go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. Let's see, where is that pause button? Pause. Okay, as you can see here, um, Malwarebytes is finished scanning and we have uh, 85 infected objects. Let's see uh, how serious they are. Well, it says rogue, multiple, and that file, it's a file actually exist on my PC so that's pretty serious. Registry keys I'm not as worried about but file stuff anytime it says file 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 that's worrisome because that that actually exists and can be executed and all kinds of junk. So what I want to do is just remove selected Uh, presents me with a log. If I want it, I can go ahead and save it. And I need to reboot. So, um, using combo fix and malware bytes together, you can clean up a PC really, really quickly. I mean, 
definitely less than an hour usually even with the uh, root kits which my PCs my test PCs do not have root kits it's kinda actually hard for me to get root kits intentionally I don't know how people get infected with them but um, it happens every single day uh, um, almost every day I go out and I encounter a root kit of some sort and combo fix is actually able to get through them Okay, the PC's uh, been rebooted since we ran Malwarebytes. We removed 85 objects. And you can go ahead and trash uh, Combo Fix now. I don't need it anymore. And you can see right down here we have a no antivirus alert basically. At this point, um, you can and you should install your favorite antivirus of your choice. Some of you may be using the Windows Firewall. I'm not. I have a hardware firewall, like a router, so I would just disable that. And once you download and install your favorite antivirus, this would go away. So, um, I just wanted to kind of show people how I remove a lot of malware quickly uh, using Combo Fix and Malware Bytes, and that's kind of what I've been doing for the past two months. So. Um, when I'm in the jam and I need to get out, get in and get out very quickly. So that's it. So I'll go ahead and upload this. I hope it was good. And that's it. So see you later.